Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So excited to be back. We're gonna be talking about some stunning feminine fragrances that are perfect for wedding days. All the brides are getting themselves together for this special day. Whether you're having a spring or summer wedding, I wanna share with you guys some of my top picks that you need to consider for your special day. When it comes to a wedding scent, you want it to make you feel gorgeous. Like the only person in the room. I feel like spring and summer weddings, florals just shine so bright, especially if you're going to have a wedding full of florals. These are definitely absolutely stunning. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to be a part of our family and we hit 100k, okay? We're, we're trying here. So let's go ahead and start talking about these fragrances and leave your comment down below. If you are getting married this year, comment down below Below. Let us know when is your wedding day so we can congratulate you. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. So I actually tried to do a little bridal look. I got a white dress on with my little mic here. I'm gonna kind of hide it here. But um, I did this makeup look. It's inspired by Sophia Rich's wedding day look that is super viral on TikTok. And I am one of them that is completely obsessed with this more soft, natural, glowy, kind of bronzy look look. I absolutely love it. If you haven't checked out all of the pictures from her wedding day, chef's kiss. I mean, they outdid themselves. Whoever planned that did an incredible job. And this makeup look will be posted on my Instagram. So check me out there. I have to. Okay, I have to mention Delina Exclusive from Parfums de Marley. This is like the go-to bridal scent. It smells so beautiful. It's ultra feminine. It is one of my most unique floral scents, hands down. This is the type of scent that makes you feel like a woman. Attractive, beautiful, elegant, gorgeous, all of the above. And best of all, it is extremely long lasting. So you really don't have to worry about, is my scent going to last the entire day? Because listen, I was in the bridal industry as a bridal maker makeup artists and ladies start doing their makeup and putting on their dress early. Like we have started weddings at six in the morning and the actual wedding doesn't start till around two, three o'clock. So this scent has to last you literally till the next day. And with Delina from Parfums de Marley, you will have absolutely no problem. It is long lasting. Next, I have a very classy, rose scent. It is mm, probably the most traditional rose scent. Uh, not too sweet. It has a little bit more of a spicy, musky dry down. It's more of a dry rose scent. I want to say this is Le Labo's Rose 31 and it is divine. If you love a traditional rose scent, a little bit more musky in the dry down, you are going to absolutely love this one. Clearly, I love it because I I'm almost out of this fragrance. It's so ladylike, very, very elegant, a little bit more mature, but still quite modern in its own way. It is very potent, very long lasting on me. And it just exudes this like elegance that I don't have in other fragrances. If you're having a very sophisticated luxe wedding, yes, you have florals in your weddings, but there's a little bit more greenery in there too. This will pair beautifully. This is not like a princess dress. This is more of a fitted silhouette showing kind of dress fragrance. It is so sophisticated. Okay. If that's the theme of your wedding, this scent is beautiful. And if you want to take it up a notch, you can layer this with Le Labo's Another 13. And I am telling you the combination of both out of this world. Let's talk about something a little bit more fluffy, soft, very girly. Okay, I'm talking pink, 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 pink all over the place. We're, we're doing a girly theme wedding. This is Burberry Her Elixir 
Wow, wow, wow. I already love the original Burberry Her. It's a beautiful scent, but the elixir is just so feminine. It has a yummy vibe to it. It's a fruity floral. To me, it actually smells like a strawberry milkshake with whipped cream on top. It's very kind of like leaning gourmand, but it doesn't you know, smell like straight up food. It smells like a fragrance, a very delectable fragrance. And I think this would be, oh, so beautiful on a bride. If you have like a very princessy dress, I think this would look, not look, I keep saying look, it would pair so beautifully with that dress. It's very, very girly. So think of a girly wedding and you are going to get Burberry her. Um, not extremely long lasting, I'll be completely honest. So I would definitely take a little bottle with you or even get yourself a little decant and pop it into a purse. One of your bridesmaids can carry it around and just kind of spray it throughout the night. It is so stunning. Now let's go on to a side of white floral heavy fragrances. This is very sophisticated, very ladylike, um, quite a uh, like an upscale kind of fragrance to me when I smell it. And this is Kayali's Deja Vu White Flower. So underrated, but one of my favorites from Kayali. And it's also one of my most long lasting from Kayali. It has such a beautiful sillage. Like when you spray this and you walk around, the scent trail that it leaves behind is very attractive and it garnishes attention for sure. It is so beautiful and luxurious. It smells quite expensive. So if you have an expensive wedding, <laughs> your dress is up there in price, or you just have the look, I think this is so beautiful. Again, very elegant, very ladylike, a little, I would say on the mature side, but still quite modern. It doesn't smell vintage, say like Coco from Chanel. That is quite vintage smelling to me, but this one has a more of a modern twist and it just just smells oh sophisticated it it smells like silk it's smooth it's so so smooth so lavish and the white floral is creamy and luscious and everything is blended to perfection in this fragrance honestly it is so beautiful and honestly now that I'm smelling it I'm like why am I not wearing this more often because it is so gorgeous, but to me, this is not a casual scent. This, I have to be dressed up. Like the way I'm dressed right now, perfect time to wear this scent. I feel like it really is a dressy scent. Now let's think of a scent that I think is very romantic, a little on the sexy side, and I think it would make a really beautiful wedding day scent. It is Linter Tea from Givenchy. This is the Rouge version, and I think that this is, mm, it's almost like if you took Deja Vu White Flower. Okay, now that I'm smelling it, it's almost if you took Deja Vu White Flower and kind of mixed it with a little bit of Burberry Her, you get the white floral vibe, that elegant white floral, a little bit mature, but you get a fluffy, creamy vibe, just like in the Burberry Her Elixir. It's a beautiful combination of notes that make such a spectacular feminine fragrance that is not overly complex. It's super wearable and smells so good on anyone. Not too mature, I feel like, a ton of different age groups would really love this scent on a wedding day. The opening is fresh, but the dry down has a little bit more sweetness. It has a little bit more depth, more warmth, and it's just a stunning scent. This is one of those that I feel like isn't extremely long lasting. So definitely take a decant, take a bottle with you, douse yourself before you put on your dress douse yourself after you put on your dress and before you get out of that limo or entering the venue so that the scent really projects. You want everyone to remember that you smelled absolutely incredible on your wedding day, but this is just a beautiful scent. And honestly, all of the flankers and the original of this scent are stunning and are wedding day worthy. 
I'm selecting this one this year, um, but I could honestly recommend the original version, the EDT version, but the EDT is not as long lasting, so I'll definitely go for more of the intenser versions, but this one is just so stunning. Now I'm going into a different direction, completely different. We're not here on the heavy florals. We are here on a gourmand that is very suave, very silky, super wearable, and quite unique I want to say and this is Gersoff's Dama Bianca it is such a pretty scent um, if you have elements of floral and fruity notes not notes but like some kind of decor that speaks to a little bit of a fruity tone this is a beautiful scent it has more of like a citrusy opening and even in the dry down you will get this citrusy tone not a like a sharp citrusy but a more soft citrusy that brings some brightness and some freshness to the fragrance it's a little powdery and there is a vanilla note in there that is not too deep but it's definitely in there and adds a bit of sweetness a little bit of creaminess to me this smells very feminine but in the most gentle soft way it is really really beautiful Beautiful, and it's a scent that lasts really well, especially on clothing. It smells so incredibly long on the skin. Not as much, I want to say, to be completely honest, but it is a beautiful powdery scent. If you love something a little bit more on the powdery side that is not like your typical florals, this is one that I would recommend you checking out. You can get this on Twisted Lily, by the way. Any fragrances that are niche, that you want to sample, go on Twisted Lily and get yourself a sample because they have samples of all of the fragrances and you can use my code Karina10 to get a discount when you do go for your full size bottle. And we got to go back to the florals because I just think that florals are beautiful for spring and summer. This one that I'm going to recommend is definitely a traditional floral. It's more of a fresh, light, airy floral scent, heavy on the rose, but it's not like uh, vintage. -y. It's not like old smelling. It's very modern. This is by Rado Rose of No Man's Land. And I think it's just a beautiful rose scent. It has all of the different elements that I need in a floral scent to make it something that I really want to wear. Um, it's feminine. It's fresh. It's airy. It's light. There's a little bit of sweetness in there from the rose tones. Like when I smell this and I close my eyes, I think of pink or blush rose petals. This is what it smells like to me. Rose petals. If you love rose water, that kind of scent, you're going to enjoy this one. Obviously this doesn't smell like rose water only. It has definitely a lot more character and depth, but think of like rose petals, blush rose petals that have been sprayed with water. There's sprinkles of water. That's what this smells like. It literally smells like a bouquet of roses. So if rose is your thing, definitely check out Rose of No Man's Land. It is such a pretty feminine, not too juvenile kind of scent. The musky dry down is really beautiful, more like a white clean musk, and it is just so beautiful. It, it Honestly, when you think of this scent, you think of the word beautiful, so I highly recommend checking this one from Byray. My next one is the fragrance that really makes a statement. It is the most complex fragrance out of all of the ones that I have mentioned so far. It smells feminine yet confident, strong. If you have that kind of personality, you really want to be the star, the center of attention on your wedding day, which you should be. This is Amouage Overture. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is spectacular. Absolutely stunning fragrance. It's one that I don't wear too often because it's not a daily scent. It's too special for me to wear this casually. Me personally, I would wear this more date night, an event, a meeting that I really want to leave a lasting impression. Uh, even a wedding guest, I would wear this fragrance. It is so 
captivating. Like seriously, there's something in here that makes this scent quite unique. I even have a dedicated review on this scent because I loved it so much. So I'll link it down below for you guys to check out. Mmm. Mmm. There's something in here that gives off this like satiny feel to this fragrance. Like it's very smooth. Okay, very smooth. Think of like Kaoli Deja Vu White Flower. This one here, how smooth and addictive and kind of silky it is. This is the feel of this fragrance. It just is like they brought all of the notes together and blended them in a way that you can't really pinpoint every single note. I just know that it smells absolutely incredible. I definitely get some florals in here, but it's not, it doesn't smell like a typical floral fragrance. It's, it's just much more than that. I love the presentation. It is such a beautiful bottle. So not only will it be so memorable, you have this stunning bottle and the scent every time you smell it, you're going to be reminded of your special day. So this is definitely a fragrance that I would highly recommend. Next one that I'm gonna mention is one that I think is such a romantic scent. I think this would be really appropriate, especially for evening time. Maybe you are changing out of your traditional wedding dress and putting on something a little bit more sexy and sensual. I would highly recommend this one. It is Rolling in Love from Killian. I think this is so romantic and kind of sexy at the same time. It's like a floral gourmand to me because there is such creaminess and richness to this fragrance definitely leans more on the sweet side but it's not a sugary sweet it's like a creamy sweetness and then you get a heavy dose of this beautiful white floral tone that is not fresh again everything in here is very creamy think of like a whipped cream type of fragrance this is what I get from rolling in love there is an almond touch to this fragrance that gives it a little bit of a nutty aspect not too much texture for for me, this remains still very creamy, very luscious, more on the thicker side. And that's why I would highly recommend this for like an evening kind of wear, where you're changing out of your traditional wedding. You had your, maybe your ceremony and then you're going on to the dinner and all that stuff and you change out of your dress. This would be stunning, 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 stunning. It is so beautiful. It is very feminine to me. Definitely not like unisex at all. Like I'm getting florals, creaminess, uh, whipped cream. I don't think there's whipped cream in here, but I like think of like the texture and the color of whipped cream. That's what I get from this fragrance. It is such a creamy like formula that is ultra feminine, still in the floral family, but not your traditional fresh bouquet of flower kind of floral. There's so much more to this fragrance. This is a Killian fragrance that I actually really, really love to wear on date nights because it just makes me feel like a very sexy woman. So if your vibe is sensual, sexy, this is one that I would highly recommend you checking out. The bottle is stunning. Now, I will speak to the lasting ability, not the most long lasting, absolutely not. So definitely, definitely get yourself a travel size so you can spray throughout the evening or, um, you know, while you're getting out of the car, entering the venue, you know, all of that good stuff so that your scent really lasts all day long. And last but not least, I have a gourmand. This is definitely a gourmand scent and more for evening. I know it is spring and summer wedding, but think of like evening. And this is definitely one that you can layer with other fragrances. Not so much a floral, but I would say maybe not so much like heavy in the floral, but maybe even Killian Rolling in Love would layer beautifully with it. Um, Burberry Her Elixir would beautifully layer with this one because they have that creamy nature to them, almost like they're leaning gourmand, but they're not. But this fragrance is so deliciously good that I feel like if you wear this, it is going to be one of the most memorable scents, especially when people come in to give you a hug. Whew, this is absolutely gonna blow their mind away. This is Love and Crime. <laughs> 
from X Idolo, and hopefully I am not butchering the name. This is a tiny, tiny little 30 ml bottle that I got, and I recently picked this one up. I have sampled this many, many times, and I finally got a full-size bottle, and wow, that's all I have to say. Absolutely wow. This is a, oh my God, it is sensual. It's sexy, it's alluring, captivating. It smells delicious. Like literally if I took all of my gourmands and mixed them together, I would get this. It is kind of like caramelly, creamy, whipped cream. I know the notes aren't though those that I'm stating, but I get so much out of this fragrance. This is definitely a thicker fragrance. So I think for evening, this would be great. Even if you want to wear this during the daytime, I wouldn't go heavy handed because it does have a really nice, um, in terms of like the performance, it's really, really good. Opens up a little bit citrusy. So that's great. A little freshness in there, but ultimately it's going to dry down very creamy, very chocolatey almost I'm getting. And there is a bit of a green, in the background over there to kind of like break down all of that sweetness. But imagine if I took a little bit of Italica with a lot of Dama Bianca, I think this would be the fragrance. It's so addictive. This fragrance is addictive. So you don't need to overspray. You're gonna do behind the ears, a little bit maybe on the chest or just behind your neck with this fragrance for during the day, that's all you need. And as soon as people come to talk to you, it is going to project. This is a projecting fragrance. It smells so incredible. Every time I put this on, I'm like, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So don't recommend over spraying at all. <laughs> I recommend go light handed with it for daytime evening, maybe a few more sprays, but it lasts really long. It projects really well. So this little bottle is a more than enough. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. Leave a comment down below letting us know if it's your wedding day coming up this spring and summer and what is your go-to scent? What do you have in your mind, okay? If you guys have any questions, leave it down below. All of these products will be listed in the description box. Thank you so much for your love. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao!